All right, fellas, welcome back. There is some big stuff going down on the internet right now. If you've been on Twitter in the last couple of days, you're probably going to be familiar with what we're going to talk about in today's video. A certain hub, you know, the place you gather to go to get a certain of one thing. By actual definition here, the effective center of an activity, region, or network. It is certainly the center of one activity, but alas, a certain hub, which you may be familiar with, is, according to some people, under attack. It's me. I'm some people. Nah, alright, alright, let me stop. For real though, if you live in the state of Texas, your hub has now been taken away from you. The hub shuts down operations to Texas users due to law probing limits of the First Amendment. So there's been some very interesting discourse out on Twitter about this. All the Constitution experts are now coming out of the woodwork, as you would expect them to do with an issue just like this. It says, adult website The Hub shut down operations in Texas after a recent court ruling last week an appeals court allowed part of a new texas law to go into effect setting age verification requirements on content if you follow me on twitter you'll see that i tweeted out the message that you get now if you try to visit this website from the state of texas it says with an american flag on it <laughs> they're really trying to rile up the right wingers with this one dear user as you may know, your elected officials in Texas are requiring us to verify your age before allowing you to access our website. Not only does this impinge on the rights of adults to access protected speech, it fails strict scrutiny by employing the least effective and yet also most restrictive means of accomplishing Texas's stated purpose of allegedly protecting minors. What law school dropout wrote this shit? While safety and compliance are at the forefront of our mission, providing identification every time you want to visit an adult platform is not an effective solution for protecting users online, and in fact, will put minors and your privacy at risk. That is a loaded, loaded couple of paragraphs there. So before we get into the discourse on this, and I'll give you some thoughts of my own, I think it's important to point out, this is not a ban on this website. The state legislator did not say they couldn't operate there. All they have asked them to do is make sure that minors are not viewing the content on their website. And instead of thinking of a way to do that, which they say, you know, isn't going to work or it's too hard or whatever. Instead, they just said, fuck it. Nah, we're just going to shut down and let the wrath of the public backlash come out on the elected officials here in the state. There's a lot in this article. We're going to talk about VPNs. I, I got a lot of mixed opinions on this, fellas, and I'm sure you guys will too. We'll get into all of it after we have a quick word from today's video sponsor. We'll be right back. Fellas, as a dude, your face is your most important asset. You got to take care of it, which is why I'm once again teaming up with T. Shanley to sponsor today's video. I have personally been using this stuff every day for going on three years now because they make it so easy and uncomplicated. It's what they do. They provide you with all of the things you need and nothing that you don't. I still don't think some of you believe me when I tell you how important this actually is, okay? Because implementing a quality skincare routine is going to improve your confidence in all aspects of your life, especially in the dating game. We know how rough that can be. So do something about it today, all right? Start off with the level one box. It comes with all the basics, daily face wash, exfoliating scrub, AM moisturizer with SPF 20 and a PM moisturizer. One of the greatest things about it, they make it dead simple for dudes like us with an instruction card in every box that tells you when to use each product, how much to use, and in what order. You couldn't make it any less complicated than that. Skincare was something that I didn't take very seriously back in the day, and if, if only I had. I wish I would have started sooner. I'd be even more better off than I am right now as far as this goes. But it doesn't have to be the same way for you, bro, all right? Don't just take my word for it because they have well over 7,000 five-star reviews from customers around the globe. This is not something that you want to put off any further because prevention is key. So get ahead of any signs of aging now. Your future self will thank you. And because Tej is sponsoring this video, they're offering you their most amazing deal yet, all right? Click the first link in the description to get 30% off your first skincare system and a free gift. And then after that, as a member, you will get 20% off for life. Life. Do I really need to say any more than that? No. 
No, I don't, but I will anyway. The gifts you're going to be choosing from are a $20 value and both complete game changers, okay? You could either get the silicone body scrubber or a nail and face grooming kit. I have both and I love them, but I do prefer the body scrubber because let's face it, dudes. When's the last time you exfoliated your body in the shower? Exactly. Never. You never done it. Don't act like you have. Don't wait any longer, my dude. All right. Click the first link in the description and start your journey today. I love this company. Big vouch for me. Thank you guys once again for sponsoring another video. All right, dudes. Look, I don't know what this has to do with the First Amendment, and I don't know why they keep using the First Amendment when they're talking about this. I'm pretty sure this didn't exist when the First Amendment was written, right? The Founding Fathers were not sitting around in Independence Hall when they were drafting up the Declaration of Independence in the Constitution, thinking about, hey, you know what we should protect? Pictures of titties. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think they were much more worried about, like, taxation without representation you know the the entire british redco army getting completely fucked up by a group of farmers with shotguns hate to see it but to consistently refer to it as a first amendment issue i think is more just it's like political speech and it's targeted at those type of first amendment guys you know what i mean and hey it's probably working. Well, it is working, as we'll get into in a second here. It's one of several state laws probing the limits of the First Amendment. This might not be the end of that legal battle, but it's something those concerned about any rulings related to the First Amendment and freedom of speech are closely following. If anyone in Texas tries to log on to the hub, they'll now see a message from the company saying, we have made the difficult decision to completely disable access to our website in Texas. In September of 2023, a federal judge blocked a Texas law passed last year requiring age verification. The judge reasoned that the law would not actually stop minors from seeing adult content, but it did violate the First Amendment free speech protections. Last week, the Court of Appeals in New Orleans upheld the age verification requirement. So this law was passed, a judge threw it away, and then an appellate court went ahead and said, nope, we're overriding, you throw it away, so it's back in. Look, fellas, let me interject some opinion over here. So, I'm not totally against this law. I'm not. I have seen it all out on the internet. I know you guys have too. You know, we're internet people. We go online, we go on Twitter. The shit is just everywhere, bro. It's so normal, and it's normalized. It's celebrated. Girls that do this for a living are celebrated. OnlyFans girls, they... They, they are empowered. They're encouraged to do this. You see women like Amaranth posting that they made like whatever, millions of dollars a month. It just gives the wrong idea of the entire industry. I know OnlyFans is not the hub, but I'm just talking about the entire industry in general. I have really started to slowly but surely flip-flop on this because I think now as a grown adult, I can understand that this actually is not good, dude. If you're like a 13 year old kid and you have all this access to all this material that can't be good for you, bro All right, I grew up in an era where we had to wait up at night for the fucking girls gone wild Infomercials to come on TV and you better hope to God your parents were sleeping and you had to have a sonic ear on To make sure no one was getting up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom All right, you stayed up all night waiting for that shit There was none of this stuff and even by the time I had a family computer room, right? That's that's what we had back in the day a family computer room where all of the people in your house shared the same computer. Good luck getting like an eight second video from LimeWire to Buffer. No one comes in the room and interrupts you. You got to do your duty and you got to do it fast. You got to get out of there, delete the clip, throw away the evidence. And if you were any bit of respectful after you'd wipe down the keyboard and mouse. All right. We grew up in a different era, but now with what I've seen on this website in question here and other websites, I just, I'm starting to kind of take the red pill when it comes to this stuff. I really am. And I'm not full on there yet, but I'm slowly inching there, dude. The more I see it, especially being a father, I don't want my kid looking at this shit when he's a teenager. <laughs> it's only going to be worse by then. So I'm not against what the law is about because it just wants them to not be sure showing the stuff to little kids, which I, I support. I do. I really do. But what's the answer? I don't know, man. I don't work in that industry. I'm not going to pretend to know much about it besides being a uh, occasional consumer. But the law says that any website that has this stuff on it should verify the user's requirements. So I wonder, why is it just the hub that is going offline there? What are other websites doing? What is Twitter doing? What is Reddit doing? Those websites 
filled with this stuff. I tried to sign on and do some actual research to see what their competitors are doing. And when I say research, I mean real research this time, not in air quotes, research. And I Googled X videos, Texas, but alas, all I got was videos of Alexis, Texas. Damn it. So the predictable result of all this, I think a lot of us can see this coming straight from CNN business. Searches for VPN spike in Texas after the hub pulls out of the state. Visitors with Texas IPs who visit the hub's website are now presented with a full page message calling the Texas law ineffective, haphazard, and dangerous. That's a very, very strange position to take. I'm not gonna lie. I'll give some insight on that in a second. Until the real solution is offered, we have made the difficult decision Blah, blah, blah. We've already read the stuff. In doing so, we are complying with the law as we always do, but hope that governments around the world will implement laws that actually protect the safety and security of its users. No, you're not. What are you talking about? We're complying with the law. You don't know how to comply with the law, so you chose to just pull out altogether. What? And then they're like, hopefully governments around the world can solve our problem for... Man, since when the fuck did government solve any problems? Let's be real. Figure it out. Ask Elon. I don't know, dude. It's like these people really, really want little teenage boys to be visiting their website very frequently, which I guess is the part you can't say out loud if you're on their side, right? If you work for them, that sadly increases your profit and is good for you because traffic is what you want. So instead of coming up with something to filter out those users, instead you pull out get it and blame it on the politicians and let them take the heat for it. I don't know, man. I don't know the answer. Okay. I'm not a lawyer. I don't work in the tech industry. I saw some discourse floating around on Twitter about uploading an ID in order to do this, which, uh, I don't know about you guys, but I'm all set with making an account on the hub myself. You know, I, I don't know who's out there logging in every time they want to jack off, but <laughs> do you, I guess. Also, if you're willing to put your face along with that account data and you want to like make playlists and shit and have your face associated with that. Hey, be my guest, pal. Honestly, if this happened in my state, I think we're just going to have to take the L here, even though it's really not much of an L in my opinion, but you know what I'm trying to say. There's a ton of other places that you could see this stuff if you're an able-bodied adult, but maybe perhaps try to cut back a little bit. Honestly, I've been doing this for like the last year, man. It truly is. You really are better off without it. Although sadly, we do all slip up every now and then. Tough. Really, really tough. Anyway, fellas, that is about enough. Goddamn motherfucking internet for one day. Pretty crazy thing going on here. I don't think this will be the end of it. Dude, bro, if this hits the Supreme Court, that is going to be one of the funniest days on Twitter ever. But we'll see what happens. If there's any notable updates, I will be sure to cover in a future video. What do you guys think about this? I'm curious to know. And I think the opinions are going to be a little more split than some people might think. Even when I was tweeting about this, it was a pretty mixed bag. So you guys let me know your feedback down in the comments below and I will be reading as always. If you guys enjoyed the video, then do not forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more awesome, amazing videos just like this. Turn on your goddamn notifications so that you can be a part of the buzz every single time a new video goes live. Special thank you to my channel members as always for your extra support. You guys are the true MVPs and I could not be doing this without you. Check out Defy Merch down below. Follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and my second channel. Links to everything is in the description. And don't forget to check out T. Shanley down in the pinned comment and description down below. And I will see you dudes in the next video. Love you, bye. Stay safe, fellas, for real.